roster will be posted tomorrow. Not everyone made the cut, but today I was really impressed with all your effort. Good stuff, everyone. Woo! That was a good game. You ready? Yeah. Uh, Liberty, nice effort out there. I was pleased with my stick handling, though my scoring could have been better. You didn't score. We'll need to work on that if I'm going to lead our team to victory. I know how much this means to you, but I'm sorry, Liberty, you didn't make the cut. There must be a mistake. I've never lost anything in my life. Well, you haven't lost, because I do want you on the team. To do what? For the role of team manager. This team really needs you. Team needs me, then I'm there. Great. One and all. Thanks. Sorry you didn't make the team. But your manager. That's good. That's great. And believe me, I'm gonna keep you girls in line. The outline for your essay is strong and thought-provoking. Napoleon was fascinating. I only hope my essay does him justice. I'm sure it will. You always accomplish what you set out to do. Not always, but thank you, sir. A strong fate line means you know what you want to do. But my lifeline's so faint. Your quest for meaning will be an eternal one. Didn't you learn anything last year about playing with dark magic? Wow, deja vu. Freaky occult and Ash freaking out. <laughs> you have to have a little respect. And I have to have a little fun. So, Tara, read the poem. What's it say, Mystic Oracle? It's, it's great. Your poem's perfect. Um, then I was kind of looking for a reading. Morning, class. Let's open our textbooks to chapter 12, polynomials. What do you see, Terry? I see Paige Michaelchuk in detention after school. Terry! You've been avoiding me all day. Not you. Paige. Why? Your fate line was really faint. Paige's lifeline doesn't exist. Her days are numbered? Whose days are numbered? Either you tell me what you saw in my palm or my nails get up close and personal with your face. Okay. Your palm. No lifeline. You're gonna die. <laughs> Being team manager. Great. I love it. How come the girls get to wear these ratty things and the boys get uniforms? Well, that's because we didn't budget for a girls' floor hockey team. I didn't think there'd be so much interest. You do know boys' teams get 80% of the athletics budget. 
That's because there's more boys' teams. Money's tight for all teams these days. There must be a way around it. What about fundraisers or sponsorships? Sure. That takes a lot of work. Mr. Armstrong works my forte, and I know exactly where to start. Plus, you can write the sponsorship off as a tax credit. Yes, I know, but the boys have already asked me to sponsor their basketball team. They don't need your help, Mr. Jeremiah. We do. But the Panthers have done awesome all year. Yes, and we can too if we get the same full support. Look, say your daughter was on our team. Would you want her wearing this? We need this, Mr. Jeremiah. Okay, look, I, I can't sponsor both teams, but I'll think about it, okay? Our new jersey design. Wow, that's awesome, Liberty. Yeah, yeah that's really, really good. good. Thanks. We do have to convince Mr. Jeremiah to sponsor us and not boys basketball, but a minor detail. Yeah, like the boys need funding. I know, girls, you're excited about this, but even with sponsorship, we're not going to win anything unless we practice. Okay, so take your positions. We're going to do passing drills. Oh, and can you clean the pennies that need washing? I just washed them the other day. I know, it's dirty again. Okay, girls, come on, can we focus, please? Here. In palmistry, no one indicator by itself is conclusive. Okay. Which hand did she read? Um, my left. And you're right-handed. And your point is? You're supposed to read someone's dominant hand, the one you use. Hey, I, I do have a lifeline. Here, Paige, to express my grief. Um, thanks. Anything I can do for you in your time of need, let me know. Anything. So when are you going to tell her? About my miraculous recovery from the brink of death? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Liberty, we just wanted to say that we really appreciate what you tried to do. Thanks, but Miss H put me in my rightful place. The laundry room. Vance Ann, what's up with trying to steal our sponsorship? Yeah, uh, who cares about girls' sports? Except, of course, mud wrestling. Look, you girls are crazy. Jeremiah's gonna back us because we're a winning team. You really think you're better than us? Uh, welcome to the conversation. Yeah. Then prove it. Floor hockey. Girls versus boys. Uh, Liberty. Okay. Say, um, winner gets a sponsorship? And loser does the other team's laundry for a week. Awesome. I sweat like a pig. Yeah, I got a pig. So whose idea was this again? Well, I am not coaching you guys so you can get into a grudge match with the boys over bragging rights. It's not about bragging rights. It's about a sponsorship. Well, why gamble for it? Let Mr. Jeremiah decide. He can't, so we have to do this. Look, I know this is very important for you, but between school and preparing you girls for the actual competition, I can't help you with this. I'm sorry. But we need a supervisor. Yes. Yes, you do. Great. Now, who's going to coach us? I will. And I'll lead us to victory like Napoleon in the Battle of Leipzig. One hundred days to glory. Our strategy. It outlines what we have to do to win the regionals. Yoga, meditation, and no junk food. To achieve perfection, one must envision perfection. Envision, achieve, win. A simple formula. Oh my gosh, I can't. 
You've got to be kidding. Napoleon said if you want authority, you must dress the part. I look <laughs> regal, commanding, stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> Liberty, I can't practice today. I sort of have my period. Penny, a true champion doesn't let a silly little monthly visitor stand between her and victory. Now let's get started. I'll never have a driver's license or a senior prom. Tear, I'm too young to die. <laughs> Don't cry. Can I get you anything? Sure. And maybe you could even do my book report for Quan. With all this stress you brought me, how am I supposed to concentrate? You're right. I'm there. <laughs> you stay in the left wing, allowing the four checkers to go deep in the offensive zone. What's this play called again? The left wing lock. It limits breakout space and forces the opposition's defense to carry the puck or bank it up in the boards. Girls, this is child's play. <laughs> hey, little miss happy face, what's a neutral zone trap, huh? I don't know. Page 16, did you read it? Maybe you don't know how to read. Why are you picking on me? Because you're the weakest link. Attention students, a friendly request from our custodial staff that you use the garbage can provided in all corridors. Don't test me, Kendra. Why not, Napoleon? If we want to win, you players need to pull together. We're not going to win, Liberty. Not with you barking orders. They're not orders, they're plays. We don't understand them. They're useless. Kind of like you as coach. your head. Oh, I could sit when I'm stressed. I just emailed your report. I didn't get mine done, but that's okay. I only lose 10%. Are you sure? Oh, thanks. Who said dying wasn't any fun? <laughs> figure out when I can get some sleep. Being Terry and Paige is hard work. Can I talk to you about that? What? Well, let's just say when I tell you, you're gonna wanna kill someone who's technically already dying. Just a hockey game, Liberty. No, Spinner, it's your funeral. Last time, out! You, Panther, scoreboard. I can't. Okay, girls, remember what Napoleon said. One must know when to leave the skin of a lion to take the skin of a fox. Get out there and give it to them, right? Right. 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 
Ready? Ready? already done. And maybe we could even get Terry to pay. <laughs> Ashley on a Ouija board. Terry told me the sad news. I thought that we should get a second opinion. Hey, Terry, wouldn't it work better if Paige was sitting here? Yes, it would. Do I have to do anything? No. Just watch and read. Mystic Oracle, is it true? Is what true? That you and Hazel played me for a fool? Wow, I, I really better get going. I don't want to take any chances. Manny, go see the nurse. No, she's going back out on the floor where we need her. I'm the ref, and I'm telling her to go see the nurse. After this period. Get someone else to play. Those girls, they're alternates for a reason, Joey. No. You're being a tyrant. I'm doing my job. Liberty, maybe you need to relax. And maybe you need to shut up and do what I tell you, all of you. Good luck trying to win short two players, Liberty. Someone make sure Manny goes to the nurse's office, please. I can't believe you girls. I thought you wanted to win. Not like this. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Got the game's it. not over, guys. They can still come out and finish it. I can't believe you're all quitting. This is a team. We're not quitting the team, Liberty. We're quitting you. That's so unfair. Coaches are supposed to inspire people. You just bark at us. And give us crazy textbooks? A thousand ways to make us miserable. And the stupid Kate. What's that whole thing with Manny? All right, I get the point. Look, you're a great team. Be mad at me, but don't let those guys win. Kendra, your slap shot is dead on. Emma, you're a good offensive captain. Focus on getting Kendra to the net. Let her do the scoring. And it's your game. She does have a point. We can't let those jerks get the jerseys. Let's get them. Liberty, we've got it covered, OK? All right. Well, go get them. Hey, Liberty. The game is still going on. What are you doing out here? I ruined everything, Miss H. What are you talking about? The girls all hate me. Did you push them too hard? I really wanted them to win those jerseys. It's a worthy cause. Yeah, but I think I squished out all the fun of playing. You know, Liberty, it's tough for any coach, balancing winning with having some fun. Yeah, and it's so not worth it. Having 
fun? Yeah, so much. Sorry we didn't win. You almost won. Losing by one point sucks, but impressive. Thanks. Not impressive enough to get Joey's uniforms, of course. I don't know about that. Girls? Mr. Jeremiah said he hadn't seen such a great battle of the sexes since Billie Jean King beat Bobby Riggs. <laughs> Whoever they are. I don't understand. Joey sponsoring both teams. We impressed him that much. Wow, you girls look incredible. You mean we look incredible. <sighs> Try it on. Perfect. Attention. You looking for someone? Yeah, actually. My boyfriend. Tall, cute. Might have seen us together last year. Speaking of last year, great eight you look. Great eight. Not exactly my best. Some of it was pretty good. So, will you sign it? We're back together now, right? Back together. Sounds nice. So, sign it. <laughs> okay, did my mom pick up my clothes? You look great. I look awful. You got that right, freak show. Try looking in the mirror. Be careful, Jimmy. Although it is nice of you to date the creepy chicks, leave the hot ones for us. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Happens all the time. Jerks like him knew how beautiful you were on the inside and keep their mouth shut. It's the event of the year. Dr. Sally's sex talk. As if I could forget about it with you talking about it every two seconds. First you get the knowledge, then you get the power, then you get... What? Believe me, you don't want to know. Now, in addition to condoms, we have the pill, the diaphragm, and the IUD. Guys, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Maybe we'd feel a little more comfortable if Dr. Sally was here. Like I told you at the beginning of the class, Dr. Sally is in China. Well, send her a plane ticket or something. Being sexually responsible means being prepared. But the best form of protection is abstinence. What's, what's abstinence? Not having sex. No sex, you don't get pregnant or contract an STD. <laughs> However, if you decide not to abstain, make sure you always have a condom on you. <clears throat> Until next time, we hope you enjoyed this classic presentation of Taming of the Shrew. So, any thoughts on Shakespeare's comic masterpiece? Gavin? Um, maybe I had a joke or two. You didn't find it funny? Funny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, sorry. No need to apologize, because I'm offering you all a challenge. I've paired you up, and I want you to work on act two, scene one. This play's been around for over 400 years, so it must be doing something right. What I want, guys, is a version that rings true for you. Have fun with it. Good morning. For that's your name, I hear. Hey, I was thinking about our scene. And you wanted to shoot yourself? I can't believe we have to do this comedy. It's so... Sexist? Outdated? Unfunny? Awfully. So I was thinking. Why don't we show that? And play it for what's really going on. Or not? No, totally. I'm just so glad we're on the same page. Yeah, Juan's gonna regret pairing us. Was it just me or was health class more than a little confusing? Why? Because Dr. Sally let us down? Because Dr. Sally didn't even... Would you shut up already? I mean condoms. They're confusing. Well, they're pretty simple, Tobes. You just open the package, slip them on, and... I mean, you know, 
When do we buy them? No time like the present. Know the drill, practice. I mean, we could meet the woman of our dreams tomorrow. I already met mine. Look, that is exactly why you want to be prepared. It's way too early for that. What if passion takes over someday? And you, Toby Isaacs, get a chance to get it. Don't you want to be prepared? I guess. Yes, you do. So, drugstore, after school. Our studly future calls. The concept's hilarious. Us is a maid to bear, and so are you. <laughs> hey guys, your boyfriend? Just stare at him. Chat. <laughs> Someone's having fun. Yeah, yeah, I've seen she be good. Of course, not as good as if I'd worked with my favorite partner. That's a joke, right? Burn it, please. Oh, but she looks so cute. So dinner. Just making burgers and craft dinner. You know, my parents missed you. So did I. And so I'm glad you're coming. JT, you do not need extra large. What does this mean, ribbed? For her pleasure. No idea. Mm, better find out. Did you see the uh, pina colada flavor? Yeah. Too bad they don't have bacon. So what'd you get? Mmm. Force is strong within you. <laughs> Okay, so call me later. Okay. Bye. Oh, we just want to be ready, you know? But he, he does. And, and me, and me. Together. But, but not together. Uh, could we have those in separate bags, please? And, uh, maybe your phone number? <laughs> Dr. Sally come today? Uh, no. Armstrong filled in. Did he give out condoms? What? No. Not that that's any of your business. Relax. I just think that kids should have access to condoms. It's an important issue. Hey, eh, Jimmy? Sure it is. Ah, uh, I'm starving. I don't know. Teachers giving out condoms suggest that kids should be having sex. Well, kids are gonna have sex, Jeff, but at least they should be protected. Jimmy, what do you think? I'm not sure. You all have really good points. Okay, and what's your point? I think Jeff's right. Handing out condoms sends a message. Sorry. Don't be. You're allowed to have an opinion. I just wish I didn't have to drag it out of you. What are you doing? You're the genius who talked me into buying them. They're your problem now. For I am born to tame you, Kate. And bring you from a wild cake to a cake confrar cake confrar confrabu. That's it, Spinner. Walk and talk. <laughs> Ooh, JT the stud. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Guys, they're not mine. <laughs> then whose are they? They must be Toby's. That's Ew. gross. <laughs> That is so classic. Toby? Kendra? He's planning with no, my no, sister? No, no, spinner, it's just. When I find Isaacs, he's finished. Attention, staff and visitors. There is a dark green. You need some help with that? <sighs> sure. It's for Jimmy. Yeah.
Thanks. No problem. Hope he likes it. Jimmy, for your locker. Thanks. Um, it's supposed to replace that one. More pictures of you, the better. What? Nothing, just... What? Which picture do you like better? I like them both. You didn't answer my question. Ash. Speak your mind. I mean it, which do you like more? The old one, okay? The old one. This is who I've been since before we met. Ash. Wow. Well, you, you actually look alive. Thanks, I think. I was just getting used to the whole goth thing. This is so... Tamed? Everyone take your seats, please. Spinner's locker page? Why do you want me to die? I'm trying to save your life. Look, if we can figure out his schedule, maybe you can try to avoid him for the rest of the year. And what about Kendra? She probably thinks I'm slime. You'll explain it to her. She'll understand. Everything will be fine. Or not. Don't open it! Too late. Get you back in the loop. Speaking of loop, uh, what's with the style rewind anyway? You don't like it? Sure, but the uh, goth look was sort of working for you. Why the change? I have to go. I have to meet Craig. For I am born to tame you, Kate, and. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. And you are? Late. Sorry. Can we start? Yeah, sure. Good morrow, Kate, for that's your name, I hear. Wait. What, not strong enough? No, it's just the way Petruchio wants to change Kate. Isn't it out of love? That's what he claims. So? Well, so we're making him into a villain. What if we're wrong? Ash, the guy's a sexist pig. And abusive. I know, I read the play, but... But nothing. Even if he wasn't, he'd still be a jerk. Why? Because if he really loved Kate, 
wouldn't want to change her. You'd love her for who she is. It's Judgment Day, Isaacs. Uh, go ahead. But I want you to know that the reason I bought that stuff was because I really like your sister. I mean, I really like her, but I wasn't thinking of having sex with her. We've only kissed one time. If you weren't thinking about it, why'd you buy all that stuff? Because if I was going to have sex with Kendra, which I'm not, I'd want to take care of her. I mean, having sex never even occurred to me until JT started talking about being prepared and JT? Uh, so this was JT's idea? No, 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 no. He just suggested that I buy that stuff, you know, ju you know, just in case. you, Kate, and bring you from a wild cage to a cake formable for the household gates. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. attention. Me too. Love the costumes. Why football? Well, we thought adding a modern twist would make it funnier. Tricky was a manly man. Making him a football player seemed perfect. And he makes Kate into the perfect wife for him. His own cheerleader. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Ashley and Craig. You ready? Yeah, for real. In sooth, you scape not so. I chafe you if I tarry. Let me go. Nay, thou must be married to no man but me. For I am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. Wow. Intense. Uh, yeah, we saw it a bit differently. Ash? Um, it didn't seem like a comedy to us. It felt darker. Can you tell us why you felt that? It's about breaking a person, their spirit, taming them and making them into someone that they aren't, making them into a lesser version of themselves. The man I was looking for. Like his new look? <laughs> okay, and now for your feet. No, Spinner, please, please. I promise I'll never buy condoms again. It is not about buying condoms. It's about Kendra. There's enough pressure out there about having sex. She doesn't need any more from you two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Isaacs, hit the lights. I give you the human glow. <laughs> hey. Hey. 
I sent it like you asked. We cling to one another. A storm raging around. My head slips under the water. You can't hear me cry. So I let go. Drift away. Leave your comfort behind. Save us. Always. <laughs>